Hello all, let's discuss on Virat Kohli's batting track record from 2008 to till date. So I do have six sheets here so with different analysis. So I'm going to discuss on the same. So let's discuss on like year wise runs code from Virat Kohli. So let me use a group here. So which showcase uh, individual categories. But for now, I do have a year filter. I just created as a set, just drag and drop here into filters and just drag and drop group into rows to showcase only that particular gear information and just make use of runs and convert into a bar graph and let me use swap and just drag and drop runs into labels i just want to showcase that number on top of bar graph and let's say uh, I just want to create an indicator or let's say I want to use a benchmark. Let's move on to this. You can also make use of dynamic reference lines or constant line. For now, I'm going to use constant line. Brag and drop constant line. I want to use benchmark as a thousand. And if Virat Kohli scores more than thousand runs across that particular year, I want to showcase in a green color, else in a red color. I have that particular indicator calculation. So let me edit. So it's a simple if condition, if sum of runs more than 1000, then green, else red. So let's drag and drop that particular color condition into color to differentiate uh, red and green color indicators. So let's say uh, if you score uh, more than 1000, you can see in a green color and else in a red color. Got my point, right? So that is what uh, the 1000 as a benchmark. And I just want to showcase one more analytics, which we are going to use commonly. So that is what average line across that year. So what is the average number of runs scored across all the years? So just make use of this uh, analytics. So average runs, that is 912 runs scored across all the years. That is what the average, and that is one of the excellent track record for Virat Kohli's. Let's move on to the next question. So year wise average. So I do have an average field here and uh, I'm going to use the same field like year as a filter and let's use group into rows and just drag and drop or just double click on average and create a bar graph. It's the same analysis uh, what we have done for the runs across year. Uh, we are going to showcase the average across year. And uh, you can also create an indicator to differentiate. Most of the cases we do uh, check the benchmark like 50 as an average. But for now, I'm going to use average line here. Just drag and drop average line into table level. So this is what the average across all the years, 62.3 average. So this is one of the excellent average uh, from Virat Kohli's across all the years. But I just want to showcase one pure analytics where uh, you have a reference line where you have an option to go for line and confidence interval which you can differentiate uh, the percentage so if he's uh, the confidence level is 95 percentage and you can see the average confidence is 78.5 based on his existing average and that is what the range actually so uh, the less average or uh, the range is like 46 to uh, i do feel like 78 yeah so this was the confidence interval of Virat Kohli's average across particular year. So let's move on to the next question. So this is interesting. So I just want to showcase the wins versus lost uh, when Virat Kohli scored century. So this uh, this shows that how important uh, Virat Kohli is for Indian team. And, uh, uh, and yeah, let's dig into that. So let's say uh, I want to showcase uh, wins and lost. So I don't have a, a particular uh, category for win and loss. So we have this particular group field and let me search for win. So won matches, uh, let me select won. Let, let's use lost matches. We have a lost match category and uh, we do have a tied actually. So let me select tied. So click OK. I just apply a filter condition for those three categories, won, lost, and we have one single match tied when he scores century. So just double click on uh, oh, oh, control Z and just let me use measure value into size and uh, measure values or sum of uh, hundreds into size and sum of hundreds into color. So, and uh, uh, sorry, uh, let me use group into color to differentiate win versus lost. 
and uh, you can you can also go for angle actually so you can also make use of angle in pie chart just drag and drop 100 sum of 100 into angle and uh, let me showcase as a percentage basically in pie chart we are going to showcase mostly in percentage calculation on the fly we have a percentage of total here in the quick table calculation let me convert into percentage of total so when Virat Kohli scores century for sure India is going to win the, the, the winning percentage of India is more than 80 that is excellent track record so this was one of the best uh, uh, stats for Virat Kohli's uh, when it comes to like India's winning matches so let's move on to the next one so top century scored versus opposition teams so top 10 sorry so I just want to showcase top 10 centuries so let me drag and drop uh, let's move on to the next data because I do have that individual information so I do have opposition and I do have runs scored across uh, for that particular opposition team so we can also verify uh, we can also do uh, the analysis based on uh, individual country wise runs but for now I want to showcase top 10 centuries scored across that particular country so let me use date to differentiate uh, individual matches so default we are going to get here but let me use uh, discrete here exact date and uh, default it is going to convert into discrete let me convert into continuous initially so let me convert into discrete so just drag and uh, drag in front of this so this is what like uh, every individual match and uh, that is what uh, based on the date we can differentiate every individual match and I don't want to showcase the date here so let me unselect header and so just drag and drop uh, I want to apply the filter condition right let me use sort for now I just want to showcase uh, the top the highest or based on the value based on the uh, runs I just want make use of descending order and now drag and drop date into filter and uh, based on individual dates so I want to make use of uh, top 10 scores so default we are getting top 10 and if you want make if you want to showcase bottom 10 you can also make use of bottom or you can also change the number actually instead of top 10 you can also make use of 15 20 so on so let's click ok so this is what the top 10 scores uh, from Virat Kohli versus opposition team so let's move on to the next analysis so I, I already created uh, uh, like every particular day wise runs so this is interesting actually so because uh, I just want to showcase this complete information because of the timelines so, so individual score uh, across that particular uh, yeah that is what match matches played per year or a matches uh, match matches by match match by match and uh, I just want to compare with these two actually so so what I'm going to showcase is like run score match by match and uh, here uh, I want to showcase matches played per year so instead of doing this so as I say matches played per year so just drag and drop uh, date uh, year of date and uh, sum of runs or uh, instead of sum of runs as I say it matches played so let's uh, let's uh, make use of uh, uh, the ODI numbers yeah I do have the ODI number and I have a, a distinct count of that number so let me use let me create a stacked bar graph for this so what I'm going to use is so let's drag and drop here and let's differentiate with the team actually so the opposition team into color so because um, I just want to showcase year wise the number of matches played but I just want to include opposition team as well so that when you click on here so let's say when you select Australia so you can also check that the number of played matches played against Australia across that particular year so let's make use of the ODI count into labels to showcase the number and uh, we can uh, make use of entire view so okay this is good but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make use of a comparison between uh, the matches played per year across the opposition team and the run scored uh, match by match that means all the scores whatever he played right so I'm going to make use of date field and uh, I'm going to use run score here 
and I'm going to create a dashboard to make use of some interactivity. So let me use date field to differentiate. So let's move on here. Let me convert into a day or let's use exact date or you can also make use of a day here. Let's convert into day. Uh, we have year right so we have year wise runs so if you if you want to make use of continuous select this particular year and if you want to make use of across that particular day individual dates you can convert you can make use of that day of date so instead of a uh, continuous line i'm going to make use of uh, this particular option jump lines which showcase uh, individual match scores and in color we have an option called as markers let me use that markers to showcase a dotted with that uh, line. So the line shows actually the gap between the this particular match and the next match. So this is also going to help pair uh, how how many days we actually have taken rest. So so how it helps actually. So this is an individual score, and you can also this is the highest score. Uh, uh, from Virat Kohli against Pakistan, but I just want to compare with sheet five and sheet six. So let me create a dashboard and let's dig into the analysis where I just want to showcase uh, a more interactivity. So let's use instead of floating, let me use tilde option, drag and drop sheet five and drag sheet six here. Let me do some formatting here instead of fixed size go back to automatic and i do have matches played per year and uh, run scored match by match so let me use this interactivity so we have an option in tableau where uh, when you select this particular filter condition so it will apply the same filter for all the sheets within the dashboard so one best option is as i said when you click on a particular country it showcase that uh, country wise uh, the score, number of matches played across that year this is interesting and uh, you can also do the same here but what i'm going to do is when you select a specific here like when you select a specific bar that is what the slice so let's say versus australia in 2013 so the number of matches played against australia is six so just click on that so as i say this is purely for interactivity so when you click on this so you can dig into the analysis where uh, you can look into the individual scores of that game. So he scored 61 uh, on that particular day. Uh, the first match, maybe the first against Australia and the second match, he scored 100 runs and uh, 60 items, something like that. So you can you can dig into the analysis. So you, you can make use of uh, the filter condition across that ODI games or across uh, particular team wise. So when you select England, it showcases only the uh, only the matches played against England across that year. And if you want, um, in, uh, Virat Kohli played uh, 11 games in 2011. When you select that particular bar graph, and you can see the total number of games played uh, uh, versus England uh, across uh, 2011. And you can also dig into the analysis. So he scored. Uh, or whatever the individual scores right you can verify on that so when you mouse over you are getting the tooltip here so this is what uh, one of the best uh, interesting anal analysis what we have done on top of uh, virat kohli's existing real-time data thanks for now